So uh, in a couple of days, the uh, rookie mini camp will go under, get underway in Berea, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, what do you expect to see? How important are these things? Is it, a, is it kind of just uh, the rookie's chance to get to know the coaches? How do these things work, especially given the times that we're in? Well, you know, they're only going to have about 14 guys out there. It's not going to be a lot of players, so it's not going to be, uh, you know, the kind of football that practice that you would expect to see in mini camps. It's really mostly going to be some individual drills, getting these guys out on the grass, getting them comfortable uh, with their surroundings and with the playbook a little bit and with their coaches, just a chance to get, get a hold of them and get them headed in the right direction for when they reconvene for either a mandatory mini camp in June or for training camp at the end of July. So it's vast, vitally important to get them here. Uh, and I, as far as I know, they're all going to be showing up. Uh, you know, we have the NFLPA encouraging them not to do so because these are voluntary workouts, but they're going to be here. I believe that they are all going to come and they will get that foundation set and they will be ready when the time comes. Yeah, and, and it's, it's a chance for the coaching staff to to actually finally get them in person, get them out in some football situations. Remember, in COVID, they didn't get to they didn't get to meet them at the combine and those kind of things as well. Absolutely, and I think it's vitally important to to have players pass the eyeball test for you. You you want to see what you drafted. You know, you want to see them in person. Everybody in the building wants to see them in person for the first time. So you will be getting a chance to see, and some of these guys are really, really young. I mean, they're 20 years old. Greg Newsom won't even be 20 by the time he hits the field for rookie minicamp. He'll be 21 soon thereafter, but right now he's still 20 years old. So is Anthony Schwartz. So, you know, you, you know, it's a chance to get these guys when they're super young and develop them and so that you have them over the next four, five, six, seven years, whatever the case may be. Um, but you want to see that they're in shape physically. It's a chance. I mean, if you see that a guy is did not show up in the kind of shape that he's going to need to uh, for for training camp and generally they're not in that kind of shape yet, uh, you know, you'll be able to, you know, have a little heart to heart chat with them about that. Uh, you know, you'll be able to kind of get a feel for how a guy picks up what you're giving him. They throw a lot of things at them right away just to kind of see who sort of pops and stands out in terms of assimilating the information. And so you can pick up a lot of things in those few days of rookie camp. 